Hollywood Road Central has been named number two coolest street in the world by Time Out magazine. So how cool are we, you may ask? Let's have a look. Hollywood Road is one of the main thoroughfares established by the British during the early days of Hong Kong's colonization. In 1841, British forces landed at Possession Point and set up a military base in the western end of what's now Hollywood Road. From here, the road stretches eastward, connecting with Wyndham Street and Pottinger Street. On such a historical street, must be plenty of historical buildings. Let me show you around. In fact, many significant events in the modern history of Hong Kong and China unfolded just in a couple of blocks from here. Places that once were scenes of history have now become historical landmarks. In the late Qing Dynasty, Revolutionary Sun Yat-sen was often active in this area, plotting for the revolution. Take PMQ for instance, which now houses a number of artist studios. It used to be the police married quarters, but even before that, it was a central school, Hong Kong's first government school. And guess what? The aforementioned Sun Yat-sen was an alumnus. The site still retains its foundation, uncovered by its archaeological excavation. Heading further east from PMQ, you'll find Tai Gun, a complex that once combined the functions of a police station, court, and prison during the colony's early days, embodying the authoritarian rule of the colonial government. Today is a culture development project that plays host to art, galleries, and performance venues. One can't forget to mention the lifeblood of the Chinese community at the time, the Manmo Temple. Nearly two centuries have passed. This former hub of politics, economy and culture is still bustling and as lively as ever. The old buildings have been transformed into museum and art galleries, turning the surrounding area into a hub for antiques and art. Many world-renowned collectors have opened their doors here, organically giving birth to a cultural and artistic district. Maria has been running an antique business on Hollywood Road since 1970s. What of the special allure that draws collectors to this spot? Beyond the global art treasures, Hollywood Road is also a hub for international cuisines, boosting an array of restaurants. This little bistro, for example, was found by Cristobal from France and his team to promote natural wines. Standing on Hollywood Road for many years, it's also become a gathering spot for French community in Hong Kong. The um, Hollywood Road has a, a special feel for French, for European in general, but for French in particular. Uh, it feels very Parisian. I'm from Paris. Uh, it feels very Parisian in some parts. To me, it was really that link between uh, Europe where I'm from, and Hong Kong, where history is part of the uh, a part of the venue. Um, the bookshelf is 100 and plus years. Uh, there's you know a few bits and pieces that are uh, the frames over there are uh, made with the windows from the upstairs floor. Um, so yeah, I mean, this was to me uh, how to combine the history of the street and the building, and bring what we wanted, which is natural wine, to Hong Kong. So does Hollywood Row have any Hollywood trees? Well, historians reckon that this street is named in honour of Sir John Francis Davis, the second governor of Hong Kong, who back in the UK has an estate in Hollywood. Whatever the case may be, this street is deeply influential in their East Asian history and rings as cool as ever to this day. <laughs>